Hey guys, Jason here. In this week's video, I would like to share an extremely cool event that I attended earlier this week, and that was meeting Dave Ellison from Megadeth. Replay Guitar Exchange here in Tampa hosted this clinic, and I found out about this through their Facebook, through uh, Replay Guitar Exchange's Facebook. They threw an ad out there for this, and um, when that came across, I'm like, okay, I've definitely got to sign up for this. We bought the VIP tickets, and here we are. So. Before I get into meeting Dave and all that good stuff, I want to throw a big thank you out there to the owner and the staff at Replay Guitar Exchange. Thank you guys so much. It is not every day or like ever that you get to meet someone like Dave Elson in such an intimate setting. This was very, very awesome. So thank you guys so much for hosting this. So now on to meeting Dave. We arrived at Replay Guitar Exchange and the meet and greet took place first and it was in the back of the store in one of the rooms there. I had brought my copy of Dave's book, My Life with Death, which is an extremely good read. If you guys are Megadeth fans and you haven't read this, definitely pick up a copy. Uh, this is so worth reading. It's very, very well written, good book. And I wanted, uh, wanted to see if Dave would be so gracious to sign this for me, and as expected, he did. There's his signature. Dave, if you're watching this, thank you so much it was awesome of you to sign this for me. And we got to chat just briefly. There was a lot of people there, so you know it was kind of small talk. Uh, but Dave also gave me a copy, a signed copy of him playing bass here, which I'll definitely frame that, and that'll be up here on this wall soon. So maybe like the next video, you'll see this. <laughs> so after the meet and greet, and let me just say, Dave, he, you just get this sense that he's just extremely cool extremely laid back, very humble, uh, just one of those guys that you'd love just to have a cup of coffee or have a beer with or something and just chat. He's just very, very cool nature dude. So after that, we uh, go back out to where the stage area is for Dave. We sit down, take our seats, the lights dim, Dave comes on stage and he starts out playing one of the classic Megadeth songs, Holy Wars. And that was a very, very awesome time because now, I've seen Megadeth live before, but we, when you're that up close and personal, and of course he's playing with a track, but you're seeing him you know, in very close proximity, you can see what he's doing on the bass, and holy crap, uh, I've always had a deep appreciation for his bass lines in Megadeth. Obviously, I mean, his tone stands out, everything just stands out, but just seeing it right there up close and personal like that, the dude is just all over the place, and you see his right hand moving like at the speed of light. So that was an extremely, extremely cool setting there. He also played, he ended with Five Magics, which that was pretty awesome to see him play the bass lines in that. He played Peace Cells, he played a couple other tunes, but he also sat down and, you know, and just went through his life, you know, kind of talked about his childhood, how he grew up on a farm, and of course he went into the early years of Megadeth, went through the lineup of a lot of the folks that they've played with, the, the multiple guitar players that they've had over the years. Of course, he talked about Marty Friedman. Um, oh, and he played Tornado of Souls. That was cool, you know, to hear him play that song. I think that's like one of the favorites, especially if you're a guitar player, bass player. That's probably one of the Megadeth favorites. You know, it's probably in your, in your top playlist if you're a Megadeth fan. One of the cool things that Dave brought up, he started talking about his tone. And, you know, he spent a lot of time perfecting his bass tone in the early years. And even more interesting, he kind of went into depth in the band environment. You know, now I record all my music here in my studio and it's just me. You know, I lay my own guitar tracks, I lay my bass tracks and, and handle the drums and that sort of thing. So it's real easy for me to, to fit stuff in and, and make sure everything fits in the mix and so forth. But when you're in the element of a live band, you know, you've got different personalities, different playing styles, and even if you're playing the same style of music, everybody has their own uh, unique style of playing. So you've got to sort of to fit in and cater to that, especially being in the role of a bass player, which is really, you know, the backbone of your sound. But he was talking about how if one thing changes, and I thought this was very interesting, if one thing changes, then his bass tone has to change. 
So he's like, you know, beware if your guitar player comes in, it's like, hey man, I got these new pickups or I got this new guitar. You're like, oh great, now I've got to go back to the drawing board with my tone and make and make sure the settings fit in, you know, with the whole mix. Another thing that Dave did, he would take he would take fragments of his bass lines and he would show us how he's playing them and he would break it down for us. So I thought that was extremely interesting. It was, it was very cool to see him break that down for the crowd. And even if you're, whether you're a bass player or guitar player, it doesn't matter. There's there's so much talent and to not only playing these riffs, but coming up with them and writing them. And he would tell us, and he'd tell us how certain songs came about. So, you know, we got like a Megadeth and Dave Ellison history lesson in this event too. So that was very, very interesting and very exciting to, to be a part of. I want to throw out there again to guys that replay Guitar Exchange, thank you so much for hosting this clinic. Um, to my viewers, if, if you remember, late last year, I actually played a guitar solo at an event that Replay Guitar Exchange hosted, and this was a fundraiser for veterans. It was held at Copper Tail Brewing, which phenomenal beer they have. I've got some of their Unholy in my fridge right now, it's their Trafel style beer. But I got to play at that event, so that was a great honor to do that. And then Replay Guitar Exchange also hosted a similar clinic um, having Chris Broderick down, and that, that was towards the end of 2016 as well. I don't remember quite what month. Uh, I think it was like November, or uh, maybe even into December. But I got to meet, meet Chris Broderick also at Replay Guitar Exchange in a similar setting. So you guys are awesome. Uh, thank you for hosting these events. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on next week's video. Keep it metal.